That and this, of course, has been a big story nationwide, worldwide, really. Felix, Felix Masud Piloto, he is a DePaul professor, is joining us now to talk a little bit more about the Cuba U.S. relationship, what comes after this. Thank you for coming in, first of all. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, one of the things that you told me just now is that you were you had a chance to listen to the president's speech as he talked in Cuba. What did you think of it? What are your thoughts? Well, I was for, for me, it was very emotional to begin with because mm -hmm. I've been working for this type of, uh, for this to happen for a long time. I thought I was not going to li live to see the day that this would happen, that the president would come to Cuba and that we'll, ha we'll have to ha and have a frank dialogue mm -hmm. with the Cuban government without firing any bullets. We had enough of that. Um, the president's speech was uh, quite good. He, he, he pointed out. A number of things that he needed to point out. Like, for it. example, what? I know he talked about his, his main message was this idea of a future of hope, which he has uh, right. made that message and that statement in the yeah. past. Which, in a, which is a statement that is very positive, uh, not only in the sense of what he's saying, but also in the historical sense. Uh, he, came, he went to Cuba to talk about the fact that the United States was no longer going to be hostile to Cuba after 56 years of total economic war and uh, also belligerent warfare uh, with an invasion and so on. So he's, he's saying, let's stop this and let's move forward, start a new page, which is fine and I think it's great. Um, but there's a lot of history and there's still a lot of issues that have to be resolved before they can really move forward. Raul Castro has said, and also the, the White House, that this process cannot continue moving forward unless the economic blockade, the embargo, is lifted. That is not going to happen anytime soon. What the president has been doing you know, to show that he is acting in good faith mm -hmm. and he really wants this to move forward is uh, using what, what, what space he has within that law to be able to change some of the things, for example, freedom to travel by U.S. citizens, uh, United States investments in Cuba, which uh, is already some of it has been approved. So he's moving through executive orders, which is great. Uh, however, those executive orders are only as good as they're the so president limited, is in yeah. office, and, and also they're limited in what they can do. So there's going to be a change in the in in the White House uh, in come come January, and that we'll see what happens. Hope for and his strategy is, and he's made it quite clear, is to move this process far as far as far forward as he can, so mm -hmm. it will not be able to be reversed. And he said it from the, one of the first things he said in the speech: "I want to make this an irreversible." process that no matter who gets into the White House, it will be impossible to set it back. Okay, so we talked about what the U.S. government is doing, um, how they're tackling the issue. What is the Cuban government doing? What are they sort of giving back to the U.S. to show um, sort of a little bit of peace and that they're willing to work sure. with us? Yeah, well, the Cuban government has been in a process of change, uh, especially in the last five or six years, mm -hmm. uh, where they, you know, it is very clear to them that the economy is not working is going to continue having problems. Uh, it is very dependent on the outside world. Um, Venezuela now is one of the main trading partners. and No longer uh, a help. Are, it is now having its huge problems again. help. We had that before with the Soviet Union in mm -hmm. 1991. And in 1991, I think it's an important uh, day to remember because when the Soviet Union collapsed, uh, the Cuban government was already saying we have to change but we need to make sure that the changes are not too fast, so everything will right. break loose, and also to avoid the problems that the Soviet Union was, fa was having. And they avoided that. Mm -hmm. So now this process with the U.S. is uh, extremely okay. positive because they're both talking on the, the same uh, level. Okay. We'll continue to watch it. Thank you so much, Felix Masud Piloto, mm -hmm. uh, DePaul University professor. Nice Thank to have you. you.